So now, as you can see, it's literally dynamic. So it'll change to every single product. Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll go over the easiest way to set up DPA ads, dynamic placement advertising. When people go to specific products in your store, a carousel will be retargeted to them, showing their particular product as well as other products in your store. So it's really evergreen, meaning that you could use it forever and basically is retargeted for every single one of your products. So that's why it's super powerful and I'll be showing you guys the easiest way to set up. In my channel, I have pretty complicated retargeting strategies, but I wanna show you guys a simple version that you could apply today. Before we get to the video, let's announce last video's winners. The winner is here. If you wanna win $1,000 worth of courses or consultant course with me, drop a comment below, tag your Instagram, make sure you're following me, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. So let's get into the video. So I'm in my ad account right now. So let's go ahead and create a DPA ad. 022 Music Chess Simple DPA Retargeting Campaign. There you go. Traffic. I'll do conversions. Ad set name. 001. Add. Add. I'll just do 001 dies or safety draft. This, you want to change it to catalog sales. Continue. So you don't want to actually do conversions, you want to do catalog sales. Optimize for purchase, seven day click, one day view, budget, start at $1. You want to retarget people who interacted with your products on and off Facebook, 14 days for view or added to cart not purchase, and then do 30 days for add to cart no purchase. And the reason is because people who abandon checkout have higher intent to purchase versus people who abandon landing page. Just because if they add it to cart, they're more interested in the item and that's why you wanna retarget them for a longer period of time. So this one will be view content, no purchase, 14 days. And then I wanna do automatic placements. You wanna let Facebook show it to people everywhere. Let Facebook sort of determine where's the best place to sort of use your money. So I like our Instagram page, multiple products, single image, Single image definitely works better. Product name, current price. So this is it. So what you wanna set up is you wanna set up a deep link. Meaning you wanna have each item link to that specific item. You don't want shop now and it'll go to musicchest.com. You wanna click shop now and it go to Harry Potter Music Chest. So let me get you guys a template for this so you guys can just exactly copy it. All right, so here's a template from an old campaign. I'm gonna copy it over. So this is going to be the description and then we're going to put in the product name. So now as you can see it's literally dynamic so it'll change to every single product and if the person checked out car lead it'll say car lead instead. So you know how in Shopify your name is always www.storename.com slash product slash the products sort of unique identifier. Well I made the product unique identifier exactly the same as a product brand. So right now the product brand is literally Harry Dash Potter. And then the URL to the Harry Potter page is also www.musicchest.com slash product slash Harry Dash Potter. Hence this is gonna be basically unique to the product. So if the person added Khalid Music Chest to their cart and we're retargeting and Khalid is first, if they click shop now, it'll go to the Khalid landing page. So it's super powerful. And yeah, we got the ad finish. So now I'm gonna go back to the ad set and I'm gonna duplicate this, duplicate, and I'm gonna do a ad set for add to cart, no purchase, as I mentioned before. Also gonna do a dollar budget, and as I mentioned before, this one's gonna be 30 days. I'm gonna go ahead and publish. And it is as simple as that. I took you A to Z, how to set up the easiest DPA retargeting ads. Hope you guys enjoyed this sort of back end and I actually do a legit ad for my store. I show you guys my store. I show you my ad back end. This is the stuff that other gurus don't do. So hopefully by me taking this extra step, I'm able to guide you guys and give you the content that I wish I had when I was 
getting into dropshipping. And yeah, let me know what you think about these videos. I want to say that I appreciate you guys. Thank you for giving your time every single day to watch these videos. I really appreciate it. And that's why I want to just over provide you guys with value. My new goal is to sort of film videos in a monotone sort of voice like this. I don't want to be too energetic because that's just not sustainable. But I want to be continue providing value to you guys every single day. So be sure to click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell because I'll be giving you guys golden nuggets that no one else is willing to reveal every single day. Question of the day. What type of videos would you like me to produce? I want to be giving you guys content and catering all my content for the viewer because you guys are the ones that are supporting me. Other than that, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Peace.